Hey guys, this is the Savior, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install KitKat version 4.4.3 on your Xperia U. So first of all, you need to go and download Flash Tool on your on your PC if you don't already have it. And now open the version which is supported, that is 64-bit or 32-bit. I guess that doesn't really matter much, but still, just for precaution basis. So yes, yeah, open it up and click on the flash icon. Now select the fast boot mode and press OK. Now it will give you a pop up window. Here you have to select your kernel to flash. So, first of all, we need a kernel that we can flash on our device. For that, you go to the folder where your custom ROM is located. And here it is Slimcat. Uh, just open it up and extract the boot.img file to the folder. Now that we have the kernel that we can flash, we have to go and prepare our phone for the flash. For this, we have to turn the phone into fast boot mode. And to do that, you press and hold the volume up key while you plug in your USB cable. When you do it, you will get the left blue LED glowing on your device. That means you are in fast boot mode now. So now we can go and flash our kernel from the fast boot toolbox so select kernel to flash option and then it will ask you to choose the kernel or the boot img where it is, wherever it is situated so go to the folder and just open it up it will be very quick just one or two seconds and the flash will be done when the flash operation is complete you can unplug your usb cable and disconnect the phone because now the flash is done just give it a few seconds before you turn it on and then you can turn it on now we have to go to the recovery mode so that we can flash our custom ROM for that keep pressing the volume up key repeatedly while you see the slim cat logo and if you do that you will be presented with team wind recovery project now you do a data wipe Go to the advanced wipe option, now select the Dalvik cache, the cache, data and also the system option. And now just swipe to wipe the data. It shall not take much longer, it should be a few seconds I guess. So yep, just wait for the flash to finish. And here it is done. Now it will give you the wipe complete successfully. Now go back and go to mount option. Unmount the system here. This is very important. Note it. So when you do that, go to install and install your custom ROM. So here it is our custom ROM Slimcat. 2014609 unofficial what so you just install it as swipe and confirm the flash and let's just wait for it to flash I'll skip the video to when the flash is done and now the flash is done now we have to reboot the system no need to wipe the cache or double cache so let's just wait and the first boot will take a little bit longer than the normal boot because it's the first time the phone is booting the custom ROM so if you wish you can skip the boot animation by clicking on the button I provide otherwise uh, I filmed the whole boot animation so that to give you the idea of how long it can actually take for the first boot it will just take a few minutes not more than that so if it takes a little bit longer then like in a boot loop so make sure you have followed every step correctly and if you do that you'll hopefully boot the phone properly and yep let's just wait for the boot animation to finish
now the boot is done so you are presented with the user interface of the phone um, here it will be very simple for now because it's just the basic basic custom ROM doesn't have much of tweaks right now activated so if you wish you can use it right now but first we have to flash the G app so we power off the device again so we can go again into custom recovery so now the device is switched off and we can go and install the G app from our recovery mode so if you land up into recovery mode do the same thing keep pressing volume up key while you switch on the device and we come to TWRP recovery again go to install and select your G app this time slim AIO G app 4.4.3 yep so just install it and try to confirm the flash this shall be uh, much more smaller than what you had in the custom room so yep let's just wait for it and now it's done so we do reboot system again this time also no wipe the we don't have to wipe the cache or download cache we just have to reboot the system simply and this time comparatively the boot animation should be much more smaller than the one we had when we, when we booted the phone the first time so let's see long or short So it was a quick one now the Android is upgrading the system it's optimizing the applications that we just installed for the Android use so let's give it a few minutes so that it can optimize all the apps that we just flashed into the system. Now the optimization is done so it will start the app and finish the boot. Now we have to lock screen. It's getting a bit laggy. Not not yet booted properly. So let's just hope it runs fine later on. This time we have two options, Google Now Launcher and Nova Launcher. So I will just quickly go to Google Now Launcher and figure, configure it up. So yep, this is the Google Now Launcher that came with the G apps. Let me check out some settings and all this stuff. Okay, I don't have it. Right now. It's still a bit laggy. But I guess it will go away with time. So let's see some applications. Okay, let's check out Torch. It doesn't seem to work somehow. I don't know why it's not working. But it should have been working. Let's try the scroll LED. Hmm. Strange, it didn't work. Well, uh, it should have been working because it works with all the rest of the customers. But what can we do, right? We go to a launcher again. Just see if I have anything special. Hangouts. Uh, okay, it will work on an update. I'll do that later on. Let's go to phone. And here's the new download pad. You can see that. It's a bit changed. And it's quite nice and simple. We also have the search option in the dialer and yeah, uh, then we go to settings. Let me show you that 
but that is actually 4.4.3 So let's go to about phone option and here it is under 4.4.3. Yep. So I guess that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.